134 and one half pounds. He has an outstanding professional record. 32 bouts with 31 victories and only one defeat. And he has demonstrated his awesome power with his 30 knockouts. Philip Heimbond! Pounds. He has a perfect professional record consisting of 30 bouts, 30 victories, including 20 knockouts, and he is always rated among the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Pretty boy! Oh, okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. This is right up over his belly button, so I'm going to give you the top of this, top of his belt, okay? This is right there, so it's got to be up above the belt, all right? Touch him up, come out at the belt, may the best man win. You got this one. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Solid hooks. What's the best way to neutralize good hand speed? Timing. Guy's throwing real quick punches. Maybe a quick jab. You time a right hand right over. Mayweather's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. fighter he is with this counter punching. <laughs> Blocks that punch. <laughs> Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Zones in on that overhand right. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Clean shot with the right. Good job staying away from the danger there. And now they're trading blows. Good way to protect the midsection. Mayweather's out there just waiting on a counter punch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is it? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows on, there's basically on. a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he can go through that door. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Mayweather scoring with that right hand. Last 10 seconds. Flush right hand to the body. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Scores up top with a left. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. 
thrashes home with the uppercut. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Now he's telling us everything you need to know about what his condition is. We saw him stunned earlier in this fight. Now the clinching. Yeah, this is a true polygraph test for a fighter. He's telling you the truth. I don't feel right. It's up to his opponent now to take advantage of that. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Halfway through round number two. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body. Very important because what it does is stops the ability of your opponent to defend the head shots. Takes away some of that head movement. Well placed shot. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Mayweather's right hand scores well that time. That is a strong uppercut there. Great hook to the head that time. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Nice work doubling up that jab. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And now he's targeting upstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Well, you got this one. Mayweather's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Guys, they don't real. have the reach. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guys. Really frustrating his opponent now. Mayweather so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Cut. He's in bad shape. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt, but he's trying to throw back. And yeah, that's the worst thing in the world. I know it's his natural inclination to throw back, but that's the worst thing because now look at the punches he's throwing. He's going to leave himself wide open for something else. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Come on, keep working the body. Keep working the body. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Coming to the halfway point of this Uppercut. third round. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut. That straight right unable to connect. Left-hand scores. Don't let him get out. They both decide to bring it. Mayweather's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. Fundamentals, good counter punch. Mayweather's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Focus. Focus. How about a return to sender?
with the left hand. A little head hunting with the right. Start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. Good return fire that time. Mayweather's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean. He's got those long arms. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. There it is. Early on here in the round, and he's already down. And he doesn't look good at all. Two. Mayweather's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Goes up top with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Halfway through this round. Mayweather's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Answers, avoiding that punch. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. Great round now. Back and forth. Esser, he did the hurting. He's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Not focusing. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Now these two corners. Mayweathers gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round, but Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has, and he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Come on! So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Mayweather's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why... He's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good. Because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. That's it. <gasps> Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Mayweather's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Oh, what an uppercut. Solid. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Three, four, five. I 
gave him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Punching there with the overhand right. Well timed, well placed uppercut there. Teddy, we know what the problem is. He's getting hit by left hands. Offer up the solution. Well, Joe, there's three lines of defense. Either you're blocking punches, you're moving your head, or you're using his leg. The problem, he's not using any of those. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Really committing to that jab. He lands another one. Flush right hand to the head. Mayweather's proving to be elusive. The uppercut after being tagged. Mayweather's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And round five comes to an end. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning. Oh. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end. Of in prime form power surge here knockout winner